Should I show you the other one? Oh, is she too young? Me. You watch yours, but you don't want her watching yours anymore. I don't mind her watching mine. But I don't know. It's like three to seven, so it feels, it feels like she might be way too young. No, I'm sorry. It's, that page is just so like who can play with it by himself. Oh. She well, loves Gracie's Clearly, movie. She can watch anything that's appropriate. Yeah. Uh-uh. Does fruit go bad in the freezer? Mm, oh, yeah, I do. Best of use by 2024. Okay. How do I have some mangoes? Alright. So, I think I'm going to use... This and some triple berry blend with some Greek yogurt, and we're gonna make like the little like smoothie bowls. Does that sound good? You got? Okay. But what am I gonna use? I guess she use the shake maker that I haven't seen in forever in this cemetery of freaking out. Okay. You see what I'm doing? Yes, yes, you caught me. I don't know what this fruit look like. Oh, this fruit. For raisin. Oh, this has cherries in it. Sorry, you can't have the fancy like bowls I'm making. Bowls? Yeah, like basically they do these like acai bowl things like this, where you put the food in the bottom and then you do like some food. <laughs> Did you work a the hard little work? Bowls. Did you Trying to teach the girls the difference between like actually being hungry and just wanting something because it tastes good. They're like, oh, I want some more, I want some more. It's just like, are you hungry? Or does it taste good? They're like, it tastes good. Okay, exactly. 
But then if you eat too much of this stuff, then it's not healthy anymore. But this is how mine turned out. I got the same thing. The only thing I wish is like that it wasn't so, I probably won't make it, I wanna make it thicker next time. Mm. Mm -hmm. but it's good it's good and tart that granola from the farmer's market is so good I never knew that I like toasted coconut and it has toasted coconut in it but let me tell y'all what we are. I'm planning today is to go to Lowe's, go to Ross to return my hamper. Because I went in a different direction in my closet. I gotta show y'all my closet updates. Um, I'm also gonna wash the sheets today. I got this is the, the detergent I got this week sparkling amber and rose. And then I got the calm scent beads. And then the April Fresh. So that's my combo I'm using on the laundry this week. So yeah, I'm actually about to, um, I'm about to sit down and do my Bible study. I'm still in, in First Samuel. And yeah. I'm learning to embrace the chaos of like Bible studying anyway, even though like the house is up and active. Um, basically, like I was thinking, like, oh, I can't hear God if you know it's crazy and the kids, the TV, the the baby, and you know He just the Holy Spirit like made it made me realize like He talks to me constantly, ceaselessly, just like I'm praying ceaselessly. So. I'm gonna have my Bible study anyway. Um, I don't know. I just always thought it had to be quiet. And yes, I do um, pursue my morning Bible study in the morning when everybody's asleep still. But I find myself not reading my Bible on days, um, you know, where the kids were home because I'm trying to find a quiet time. And it's just like, the time will be quiet when I quiet my mind, if that makes sense. And I and I make a genuine effort to meet God right where I'm at. Because he's going to meet me right where I'm at. So, I encourage y'all, especially moms, like, go ahead, sit down, have your Bible study. Because it's important for you and your relationship with God. And as well as um, one of my church members was talking about it in my small group. She was like, that might, you might be making a core memory of your children watching you read your bible on saturday morning you know even amongst the craziness so so i'm in samuel chapter 12 and i just read and basically what's happened thus far is you know the people they told samuel that they wanted a king um like everybody else has a king presiding over them they want a king but Basically, they've been ruled by the law of God. They've they've been ruled by God and who God has put in position, like his priests, like his prophets. He's put them in place. And like basically the people have been ruled that way. So um but he's done it. He's delivered them from everything. And like that's what he's saying in chapter twelve, you know, he's saying, Haven't I delivered you? Haven't Basically, you know, God is like saying, like, I've delivered you at every turn, and you still ask for a king. And um, let's see. What the verse I highlighted that stood out to me was verse 21. And it says, Do not turn aside, for then you would go after empty things which cannot profit or deliver, for they are nothing. For the Lord will not forsake his people. For his great name's sake, because it has pleased the Lord to make you his people. Moreover, as for me, far be it from me that I should sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for you. But I will teach you the good and the right way. Only fear the Lord and serve him in truth 
with all your heart for consider what great things he has done for you but if you do if you still do wickedly you shall be swept away both you and your king so basically it's just a warning like like some spoiled kids god gave you know them what they wanted which was saul a king and um but basically he's still saying i'm the head honcho you know what i'm saying like just because i gave you a king don't mean you can go out here and start acting crazy um and samuel was like you know he's not gonna he's not gonna stop doing what he's been doing for them which is you know being the head priest you know and going to god on behalf of them so yeah it's been it's good i read two chapters um i'm about to stop though because it's taking a while because this one's getting cranky which is so cranky for I'm about to go um, throw some makeup away because, like the Bible said, what am I gonna do with all this stuff? I got too much stuff, and I'm in like a, uh, I don't know, I'm in like a cleansing season. Like I'm getting rid of all those clothes I don't wear, getting my closet together, throwing away old stuff. This is my dad's birthday gift, y'all. He got, he getting him some a high price, a high price item. I'm gonna pick it up. I got him a Samsung watch, a Galaxy 4 Classic. It's a smart watch. He has um he really he likes really really nice watches. Sorry, he likes really really nice watches and um but he doesn't have like um he does have like an everyday one. It's still expensive. He bougie. But anyways, I feel like this one is nice uh, that he can wear. You know, like when he's like in sport mode, which is a lot of times. A lot of times he is in sport mode. Um, so, I don't know. He better use it. That's all I know. He better use it. I better, I better see it with my eyes on his wrist some days. But... Yeah, that's what he getting. I'm gonna put a bow on it. I ain't even wrapping this thing. This thing is this space of honey. So his birthday, uh, Thursday. His birthday Thursday. We're gonna go to dinner with him and present him with a watch and a cake. Um. So yeah, let's go throw away some of this makeup. Then we're going to Lowe's because I need to get a backup because I just opened this one. So, like my household empties for the week are gonna be. I didn't say that I'm for you. Okay. First things first, just emptied the Downy Infusions Calm Lavender and Vanilla bean also the scent boosters and i also emptied the downy light uh ocean mist just now um i also emptied i just thought this would be fun to do so y'all would know <laughs> y'all know i'm not just telling y'all to buy stuff but it's actually stuff that I use all the time and use up um so I emptied this what is this LA is totally awesome all-purpose cleaner cherry blossom smells so good I even put that in like my mop water I emptied some of the cascade pods from Dollar Tree oh and I burnt up y'all my champagne toast bath and body works candle I love champagne toast this one is bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine. Such a good house scent. Um, kind of feminine for a house scent, but Alice doesn't care. So, do what's best for your house. I mean, they do have some nice, like, unisex, like, type candles. That's just not my kind of scent. And like I said, my husband don't complain, so I bought what I want. Um... Oh, and I bought some more of these because I like the blue ones. I thought we could try the purple this week. Uh, I cleaned the bathrooms. So, yeah, that, those are like my household empties this week. There was something else I emptied, but I don't think I kept it. 
I think I ended up throwing it away by accident and I was like, dang, I should have kept it. Probably some type of cleaner. Let me see. Can I remember what it was? I don't remember what it was, y'all. Oh, was it the Lysol? No, it was the, uh, it was this. I emptied one of these Fabuloso uh, multi-purpose passion fruits. This is my favorite. And then Ajax makes these too. And my favorite in the Ajax is the, the rose floral. I can never find it. Like I need to look online to see, um, you know, who has it. But yeah. And also this week I emptied my, um, my Dollar Tree uh, OxyClean stuff. So that's why I've just opened the name brand OxyClean. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a bigger, another tub of that. We did the math a few months ago or a month ago and we discovered that it's about the same amount, if not cheaper to get the Dollar Tree. But just to make it easy on myself since I'm going to Lowe's, I'm gonna get it while I'm there. So yeah, those are my household empties too. I'm going to keep these three primers and um this one's almost done gonna get rid of my fenty gonna get rid of the kkw gonna get rid of the pat mcgrath hmm gonna get rid of the makeup forever am i gonna get rid this is my favorite this neutrogena is my favorite hmm uh yeah i'm gonna get rid of it i'm gonna replace it if i need to if i feel the need to replace it i'll replace it but i'm getting rid of that so i'm only keeping this one i'm keeping this one i love this um i love my coconut oh sorry y'all <laughs> i love this foundation and like i hit pan and everything so like i think y'all know i love it but it's old i'm gonna get rid of it Just don't reach for it the way that I should. I'm gonna see if my mom wants it. Is it like just for like a tint of moisturizer for like light makeup days for her? Um, I liked this and like I used quite a bit of it as y'all can see it like separating in there. Um, look how much is in there. Like I've used at least half, but um, I don't know. I'm just not reaching for it. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, I actually used this the other day and it wasn't horrible. It wasn't my, it's not my favorite formula, but I'm going to keep it and I'm going to keep my NARS, uh, soft matte just because, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep at least three foundations. <laughs> I'm going to keep at least three of my foundations. Um, I feel like that's a good, a cream one. Um, yeah, I'm going to give that to my mom. I'm gonna keep the one size, it's a mini. I'm gonna keep the Ben Nye Pretty Pink, it's a mini. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Fenty Beauty um, powder, which I use quite a bit of it up, if y'all can see it in there. Like, it's not much, I used a lot. Um, the, I got the shade Honey, and like, it doesn't highlight, so if I want it again, I'll just buy it in the shade, I think I want the shade Banana. And then I'm gonna keep my Laura Mercier honey powder, which I've used quite a bit of this as well. Um, love these, but they're all gonna get rid of these. Um, don't reach for this. I I didn't I didn't declutter it the last time, but I'm gonna declutter it now because I haven't reached for it since then. Um. I do like this uh, stick by Fenty Beauty, so I'm gonna keep this. Um, and then, of course, I still have my Rare Beauty highlight. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna keep as far as like powders and highlight. Um, as far as blush, gonna get rid of the Daiquiri Dip by Fenty. Mm. I'm gonna get rid of this one too. I don't reach for it. This is by Morphe um, Cream.
Hmm. Gonna keep the Tarte. Gonna keep the MAC. I haven't reached for this, but it's so pretty. And, like, I think for fall, I really like it a lot. So, I'm going to hold on to it for now. Going to keep the Revolution Pro Balm. I really, really like this stuff. Going to keep all my Rare Beauties. And, honestly, I don't reach for the, the Patrick Ta. Um, do we know her? I'm going to get rid of this. I don't reach for it. But this is my favorite. The Patrick Ta. She's seductive. And I'm going to keep the Juvia's Place. I'm in a little cutthroat today, but I mean, like the Bible say, like, this stuff don't bring me no real type of anything like i just like it so i can throw it away when it's old like what am i talking about so okay this is my favorite bronzer i'm going to keep it hit pan and everything this is my second favorite bronzer love this one juvie's place has some good stuff uh, i'm gonna get rid of the truffle stick going to oh this is like my favorite like powder foundation i use it as like a powder foundation i really should put it with the foundations so yeah um let's see this is the stay naked the fix powder i think i'm gonna get rid of this i don't think that i haven't used this as a powder foundation so maybe I should try it first. Maybe I'll try it. And then if I don't like it, I'll get rid of it. Um, getting rid of it. Um, I don't use this a whole lot, but um, I like it in the wintertime when I want to contour more so than bronze. So I'm going to hold on to it. Um going to keep my Chanel cream bronzer going to keep my Tarte sculpt tape yeah so I'm only keeping a five of those things face palettes gonna get rid of the blush palette by the rock pro mm, I go in and out with this one right now I'm really into the rare because it's you know new but I really like this Hyper Real Glow palette. And then I really like this palette as well. So I'm going to keep this. I'm keeping this. I know only for these two powders. But I love those powders. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep the, the setting sprays. Ooh, our eyeshadow palettes. I'm keeping all my eyeshadow palettes. Um, all of this. Look at that. Look at that. I don't say I want to do some makeup today. Like, I kind of do, but then, like, what if I want to take a nap? What if I want to take a nap? I can't take a nap in my bed because the sheets are getting washed. But, like, what if I want to just rub my face against my baby's face, you know? <sighs> Probably not. I put on the glass slipper. Fenty lip gloss. So pretty. Y'all know I'm a lip junkie. Now that, that would be, like, if I tried to clean out my lip drawer, like, that would take me forever because I love lip products, lips and eyes, lips and eyes. They get me every time. They get me every freaking time. All right, y'all, we about to go run errands. Um... This top I got from Goodwill, I think it's Dress Barn. I just have this like black tank underneath. And these shorts I got from Costco. And these shoes, I don't even remember where I got these shoes. I think Shoe Station. So, just something light. I've been cleaning and I haven't showered, so whatever. But I'm also wearing the Firecracker Pop. I love this scent. It's the Red Cherry Fresh Citrus Berry. 
and um juicy berry it smells so good i got this in the shower gel and then i also went back and i got the um whipped coconut milkshake and i have the body cream to match that um i went to the semi annual sale again <laughs> just to see what they had i think this is 75 percent off today um all of it i don't know if i should get this or not it's 20 dollars this is no scrubbing spray today rinse tomorrow no bleach hello let me oh just think i like that one the black i would like the black with these nice we want to do the backsplash in the kitchen that black oh these are too big they look like this i think those are the ones you have to do hand those aren't peel and stick look at this Hey, what about the silver and marble and white? What about this one? This is pretty. Number five? This. Is that? Is this? This not it, is it? Is this it? I think this is it, right? This is nice. This. Some of these look like real plasticky. Oh, this is actually these are the kind you actually have to like I think put the plaster down. I mean this is nice. And that'd be easier to put. I found this island coconut cream sickle. It's orange, mandarin, lemon zest, coconut, fig, peach, vanilla, sugar, and cream. This smells so good. You guys, here's the closet. Isn't that nice. And I got the hamper from Ross. A little lid on there. The rug is Amazon. The shelf is Walmart. It's actually supposed to be like vertical. But I turned it on the side just so it can like fit in the space better. I bought this little jewelry box from Amazon as well. It has like a little second lay of level down there. So that was like $11.99. This is like my makeup. My mother-in-law bought me this. This is from TJ Maxx. Y'all know this was on my vanity. I got this today at Ross French Lavender just to give it like a good smell in here. So this wall, I have this above the hamper. And then of course the shoe rack. I just put my suitcase there and my clothes fit here. And then here is the mirror that I was showing you guys myself in. So, and the mirror is from Walmart for $7. So yeah, the closet is finished. I remember that little black lounge set I got from Ross. How freaking cute is this on? This is freaking adorable. It's so cute. Hooks on my little curves. 12 year old me is living. Like I used to love to watch Simple Life and Paris Hilton had this stuff on like, so cute. Okay. So today I am still wearing the firecracker pop. Yeah, look how much of this I have used. Like it smells so good. I love this. And I'm ready for church. These pants are from Costco. This shirt, I don't know where it's from actually. Oh babe, can you come do my button? What does this say? Rose and Olive. I don't know that brand. But my grandma sent me this shirt and a whole box full of other shirts so my grandma thank you my grandma knows where it's from and then i'm wearing my toy birch flip-flops and then i think i'm gonna take my kate spade but i honestly might take my little michael kors duffel that would be cute right yeah i might do this one actually 
So I actually did the Kate Spade. Lily said the Kate Spade looked better. So this is the outfit of the day. Yeah. I was looking at these for the girls' yeah. bathroom. They have like the gray and then they have this black and gold. I kind of like the black. The black. Um, I have to look at the footage because I don't know if I regret getting black now because of the gold. I don't know. Because the rugs in their bathroom is like that taupey goldish silver. It's like a taupe. It's like a taupe metallic. I don't know. What is that called? Like nickel? Like bronze? Like a nickel. So, but this is what I got. I feel like it would go either way though. So, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and I also ordered these watch bands. This lady at church, she was like, what do you put on your hair? Because it always looks so moisturized. And I'm just like, does it? Does it look moisturized? Thank you for saying that. Teeth. Oh, sorry, y'all. Sorry, teeth. So I ordered some new bands because, like, these get stretched out. These are, like, the scrunchy type bands. And I can't find my Apple Watch band. You see, like this one, like the silicone. I thought it was more than this. I thought I had like six colors. Oh, they're behind it. Y'all, these were $10. And look, it's like $2 per band. I got a gray one, like this blue, black, this cute, like green. They're like pastel white. And pink is what I wanted. So. I'm gonna take this one off. I had the old one. I've had my watch for years. This is like the Series 344, I think. Yeah, Series 342. I love it. Alex asked me last year if I wanted him to upgrade it, and I was just kind of like, no. I be using my stuff too. It don't work no more. Y'all know that. Like, I do not care. <laughs> I just replaced my tablet for Christmas. She replaced it for me. This pink is pretty. I forget how it... Does this go at the top? This goes at the top. Looks good. Let's put it on. love adore doesn't it look good y'all look at that that's pretty i like the pink let's try on the green i got one match all my outfits like right now i'm really into like pinks and blues let's try this green this green is cool looking too these are nice for two dollars a piece I don't have five, I have six. So less than two dollars. Let's do the green. I'm trying to see how like the colors look without the bumper. I'm trying to see because it's a rose gold color. So I don't know if it'll look weird with the um it don't look bad, but like pink and rose gold and whatever color. The green looks good too. I like these. But yeah, they were um, having like a flash sale, like Amazon, they be having like fast flash sales where you get like extra money off. And so these were $12.99, but with the little flash sale, they're like, if you check out like right now, you can save 20%. And so I checked out right then and there because I wanted 20% off. I'm going to have to keep the, the pink is probably going to be my everyday. So it's probably going to show the most wear and tear. Yeah, I like it. Oh, that's too tight, baby. I'm a little, a little, ooh. Yeah, I'm excited. Because I cannot find my, um, my other one for the life of me. 
in the gray. So yeah, these are cute. These are definitely cute. So, I really don't have nothing else for y'all. I think we're gonna close out the vlog. I edited everything like down last night. Um, so I'm going to finish editing the clips that I have now. We went to church and we went to Ross, where I got that. And then we went to Dickie's. Dickie's Barbecue, uh, kids eat free on Sunday. So we ate there. Their air wasn't working, but we stayed. Um, and yeah, so now I'm about to, came home, you know, I straightened up a little bit, started a load of laundry for the girls. And um, now I'm about to pump to see what kind of milk I have in here for my baby. And that's gonna be it. Um, Thursday, we're gonna do a favorites video. Um, cause I haven't done a favorites video since February, I think. So we're gonna do a favorites just so I can show y'all what I've been loving and into beauty favorites. So body care, skin care, makeup, that type of stuff. And yeah, and then we'll go right back into a vlog. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys Thursday for a favorites video. Bye.